Let's take a look at how we can use Brain Lab products together, Quentry, TraumaCAD, and Navigation. So, the surgeon wants to plan a total knee replacement, browses the packs, and we're going to pull up the, the x-rays with the AP and the lateral uh, pre-op x-ray images. We'll start the TraumaCAD knee module, and then from there we'll calibrate the images and choose the AP resection line tool, which is a new feature in TraumaCAD 2.4, which helps define the uh, resection axes. So the first step is to define the cortex points on the femur, and that defines the anatomic axis of the femur. Then we're going to select the distal femur points, both medial and lateral, the tibial plateau points, both medial and lateral, and then the cortex points again on the tibia to define the anatomic and mechanical axis of the tibia. From that is outputted a set of resection axes, which help the surgeon uh, determine what the re bone resections are going to be on both the medial and sides of the uh, femur and tibia, and also the mechanical to, to anatomic axis. All that's saved in a table when we go to save the case, but the next step is to, of course, plan on the knee. So the surgeon selects the implant. The implant places itself right at the resection axis of what was planned, and then from there we can tweak the size and do uh, size optimization and then save the case. We're going to save the case with a con comment that says navigate this case with kick knee 3.0. This allows the surgeon to notify the rep when they save it to Quentry that they want to indeed navigate that particular case. So we'll select Quentry in the save dialog box and then save it to our own personal uh, Quentry account. And from there, the implant rep gets a notification that they have a new case waiting for them within Quentry. So when they get that email notification, they can go to the Quentry website, log into the Quentry page, select view, and then they'll see the case that was waiting for them there. So they select the case, open that up, and then we see the TraumaCAD templating report. So we can click that, view that, and that's gonna, in that report you're going to see the implant part numbers, the sizes, any kind of measurements that were made, and basically all the detail that is associated with the implants for that particular case. Now the rep can also go and take a look at the images themselves to see if they uh, need to anticipate any particular you know, issue with that case where they want to maybe plan for additional sizes or uh, in case of a complex revision or so, you can do that. Then in the OR, we're going to bring in the Brain Lab Kick Navigation System and with the Patient Data Manager, browse Quentry, uh, all the cases saved in Quentry, from the, the navigation system. We can pull up the images, the pre-operative x-ray images, the planned images that we did with TraumaCAD with the templates on them, and of course the uh, TraumaCAD template report which contains all the part numbers and all the detail that we saw uh, in Quentry earlier. And this is right there on the uh, Kick. A patient data manager. We'll launch an E3.0 to navigate. We'll select left side, do the registration, and kick knee 3.0 contains a range of motion chart that gives a, uh, gives a surgeon a look at the gaps throughout the range of motion. So this is done before we've uh, op uh, made any resections. Then we jump to navigating the tibia. We're navigating the tibial block into place. You can see the uh, the planned gaps there, that what the gaps are going to be post-op based on that cut. Then we're going to launch into navigating the femur. On the femur, so we're going to navigate what we think is good, but wait a minute, does this look right? So let's take a look at the x-rays that we've planned to make sure that uh, everything is good. So we press the home button on the kick, launch into the DICOM viewer on the kick navigation system. You can go back and look at the pre-op x-rays, look at the templated uh, x-rays that we've planned, or even the template report, and make sure that uh, we're feeling good about what the navigation says versus what we uh, see on the x-ray. Then from there, press the home button again, uh, jump back into knee navigation, and then we continue where we left off. So we're navigating the femur. Once we've made our uh, femoral cut, we're going to verify our cut with the verify button, and then we're ready to proceed. From there, we press the done button, and the software is going to, on the navigation system, is going to save a patient report. And this contains a patient-friendly report about what happened during surgery, the range of motion, uh, varus valgus alignment. And we can export all that for, directly from the kick navigation system to Quentry. So all the uh, stuff in Quentry is, uh, that we're containing now is the pre-op images, the trauma cab plan images, and you can see the screenshots that we've made uh, directly from the kick navigation system that were automatically generated, as well as any patient reports uh, that were generated within the kick are all going to be saved in that, that patient's uh, Quentry uh, folder. So from there, uh, we're ready to take a look at the post-op. So for, we'll get our post-op x-ray films. We're going to take a look at those films with TraumaCAD. And we can select our knee outcome tool, which is also a new feature within TraumaCAD 2.4. And it works very similar to the AP resection tool. So this gives an idea of what the implant alignment is post-op. So we'll select our cortex points 
and some landmarks on the femoral component and also on the tibial component in the AP view. And this is going to give us a view of uh, femoral varus valgus and tibial varus valgus. Then in the lateral view, we're going to select again the cortex points and some landmarks on the components themselves. Select the cortex points on the tibia. And this gives us our flexion extension of the femur and, and uh, slope of the tibia. So that's all saved in a table and saved back to our case. So when we're done uh, with our post-operative assessment, we're going to go ahead and save all that information back to Quintry. So we have uh, saving it to our Quintry account. And so basically we have our preoperative uh, x-ray images, our planned templated images, our navigation results, and our post-operative assessment all stored within Quintry.